often if you sing to the best of your ability or if you play to the best of your ability or you put together a really dope arrangement of something with hits or with whatever, with chord changes or something like that, there are some cultures in church that look down upon that and say, you're taking away the spotlight from God and you're trying to just shine, have it shine on you. Is there a balance? Is it just a, a different way of thinking? Like between go for it, between you just want to focus on God and don't make anyone think about yourself when you're singing? Like how, how do you balance that? I don't, yeah, I don't know if it's a balance as much as it is just a priority list. You know, like mm -hmm. for us, the main priority is always like, let's have an encounter with God that changes everything. Let's, let's give God the glory and minister to him because he's worthy. You know, that's the number one. But that doesn't discount all the other things that come after that, you know, because there's certain things that lead to that encounter. Mm. There's a reason why we have music in church because it moves us, you know, like yeah. God made music and it moves us. And That's so, so like it, the moment you do the thing that you just did, both of us are moved. Our spirits are moved because there's an anointing on that and you have an anointing, you know what I mean? That's so good. So we're doing, we're doing the people and ourselves, the people in the room and ourselves a disservice if we're not taking what God's given us, the gifts that we have and what we've worked so hard to to work towards, you know, and using that to lead us and the people in the room to an encounter with him. Yeah. And like, that's what, honestly, like, it's been so fun you leading at church because I feel like every time you lead, you, you take another step <laughs> like of just bringing Clark who you actually are into your leading, which is like, what is still super normal that happened to me too, where it's like the beginning, you're like, I'm just here. I'm going to try to figure this out. And then slowly you're like, Oh, I can do this, you know? Yeah. But I love like you're just bringing always have ideas for arrangements and changing things up and bringing new chords, and new progressions and new whatever it is. And I think you feel that like you feel it because you were made to do that. Like that's what you were made mm -hmm. to do. And everyone in the room feels it or whoever's watching now online because we're in coordinating. But they feel that, you know, and yeah. um, it's just as long as the priority is there, like, God, we want to have an encounter with you and let the the things we do in this service lead us to that. And um, it's special. Like, and I think, I think that's, that's the thing, you know, you hear a lot of people talk about like, well, worship music's the same. It's always been the same or like, it's not, it's not progressing. And it's like, that's, that's not, or you're not, it's not creative enough or whatever those things are. And it's like, I want to live my life as a worship leader, as a worship songwriter with that priority first, you know, like what, I want to have an encounter with God. I want to write a song today. I want to lead a set today that leads people into an encounter with God. But then what comes after that is I want to do that to the best of my ability and make it amazing. <laughs> like yeah. I want to like make it something that's inspiring and make it something that I want to sing that I want to play. And it doesn't have to be one or the other. Like I think it just makes sure that the one's more important than the other. So we're trying to do that, I think, and I think it's something that we're growing in. I'm growing in as a worship leader, as a um, as a leader in general. And, but it's fun, man. It's super fun when it's people like you leading because you can oh, just crush thank it. You. <laughs> thank you. No, that you said. I think something. I mean, you said a lot of things really, really, um, mm. really, really good there and and poignant. But I think the one thing that hit me the hardest and like a oh oh duh and like a oh the well, that's it. There's no more argument. It's over is when you said music moves us, that's why God put it in church. Like, that's why it's there. Yeah. You know? Right. So if like, right, totally. you know, like when Bernie Herms plays, like he's playing crazy chords and it moves us and music moves us and it's supposed to, that's why it's in church. Also, you know, you, we can go down the road where, or down the route of saying like, uh, God's the author of authorship. Right. So it's like, he's, you can't, Bernie can play a lot of chords. He can play a lot of things that I would have never thought of in a billion years. He can't play anything that God hasn't already thought of. Every chord progression, every change, every major nine chord, God's already thought of that. God's already been like, this would be dope. And there it is. Right. So I, and there's, the thing is, there's not a formula. You know what I mean? Because I think mm -hmm. it's easy to start comparing yourself you know and i i can i can sit and compare myself to bernie or you and be like i don't know any of the chords that those guys know but i'm actually just discounting myself and not allowing myself to step in the anointing that god's given me 
where That's I can good. sit at this piano and just play in C is all I know how to play in the piano. But if I'm yeah. doing it out of a heart, that's like, God, I just want to have an encounter with you. And I want to step into the anointing you've given me, the authority you've given me. And there's going to be something on that. You know what I mean? There's going to be something that yeah. he's going to move through me. He's going to move through his sons and his daughters. And I think that's, that's what we have to start pulling ourselves out of. It's like, man, I don't want to compare myself to ABC. God, like, come do something new tonight in me, through me. That, yeah. And you know what I mean? And he's, he's made so, each of us so specific. And he's given us, each of us, such a specific authority and anointing. And we weren't meant to, I wasn't meant to walk in what you were meant to walk in and vice versa, you know? So yeah, that's it's pretty that's, beautiful. That's so, that's so good. Um, yeah. But that's what I think, like what we feel that when you come to our church, because we've, we've done our best to like allow the freedom of whoever's leading, whoever's speaking to step into whatever they're meant to step into. It's not like, this is how we lead worship at the belonging, you know? It's actually yes. like, this is the priority list. This is what we want to accomplish tonight is to lift up the name of Jesus yes. and, and have an encounter with him. That's what we're after. But the way we get there looks different.